Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Derek Keats and I'm here inside my lens to introduce you to how to use OBS on Linux to stream from a DSLR camera. Now, I've previously talked about how to use OBS in different ways and one of the things that I wanted to do in setting up those previous videos was to make use of the, of the DSLR camera that I already have in order to set up good high quality uh, webcam uh, for, for streaming into OBS. Now, as you can see from the video here, uh, it's, the quality is not very good. I'm, uh, I've shrunken the, the actual size of the, the video down a little bit, but still the quality doesn't look very good, which, you know, maybe it's good enough because you wouldn't, you don't see my wrinkles so well. But with a video, better video, with a, with a better um, uh, camera, you can actually stream quite high quality uh, video content straight into OBS. And in the example that I'm going to give you, there is no special software or any capture cards uh, that are needed in order to do that. Now, if you look at how um, it's typically recommended to capture from a DSLR, um, you need to have some kind of a capture card. And the, the most popular one in this uh, space is the uh, Elgato a game capture card or something similar to this and typically if you look down at the price here you'll see that it costs around 260 US dollars which is quite expensive um, to just be able to capture video from your uh, DSLR camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to capture video from a DSLR camera and put it straight into OBS without needing any special software or any of those expensive capture cards. All you need is you need your DSLR camera and you need, if you can find the space, a cable, plug it in, an ordinary USB cable, nothing special. So let's get started about how to do it. Um, basically, as I said, you need, you need a DSLR camera and I've got with me here my Canon EOS uh, um, 6D Mark II, which is a full full uh, frame uh, DSLR camera, but it will work with almost any Canon or Nikon or any other, um, pretty much any other digital camera, actually. It doesn't have to be a DSLR. And, of course, you also need uh, a USB cable, a typical normal USB cable that uh, these cameras come with for plugging it into the computer. And then you need some basic open source software. Uh, so we'll make use of uh, GPhoto 2. We'll make use of FFmpeg. And we'll make use of uh, V4L2 loopback. This is the same V4L2 loopback uh, software that I showed you the other day when I was showing you how to stream your OBS video into Zoom or Skype. It's the same tool. So these are all command line tools. And as, as a consequence of being all command line tools, there are no GUIs that get in your way. You just run them and boom, you're up and running uh, very quickly. So let's take a look at how we get started. But first, uh, you will probably want to know whether your camera is supported. So you can go to the website gphoto.org and uh, locate the, uh, the um list of supported cameras i'll leave the link in the in the video in in the in the text below the video um, but you can see if i scroll down here that there is a massive list of uh, supported cameras and um, here's my eos 6d uh, somewhere there's a 6d mark ii yeah here's the 6d mark ii so that one is supported for everything and as you scroll down, you can see that it, it, it's uh, an enormous number of, of uh, cameras are supported out of the box. So it doesn't matter whether you have uh, an EOS 6D or you have a 7D or you have a 1D or you have some other Canon camera or you have some other camera. Um, even GoPros are, are supported um, and so on. So there's lots and lots of cameras that you can use for this technique. I just happen to be showing you with my Canon camera because that's what I have and that's what I mostly use. So let's uh, go back and look at the software that we're going to make use of. So there's three applications and we need to make sure that those are 
installed and available for use. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to install those uh, pieces of software and all the supporting software that they need. And in order to do that, just like I did the other day, I'm going to bring up a virtual box. So bear with me for a second while I get the virtual box ready and then I'll be right back to show you how to set up the software so that you can stream into OBS from your digital, from your digital camera. Okay, so here we are with uh, Ubuntu Linux Focal Plaza or 2004, the one that's coming out in a few days time. Uh, I've got a pre-install of it uh, set up here. And um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just open the terminal, which is control, uh, probably should be in the right place. Let me do it again, control alt T to open the terminal. And then I'm going to just uh, magnify the terminal a little bit so that you can actually see what I've put in there. I think one more should do it. Okay, so here's my terminal that I'm going to run the commands in. Now what we need to do is we need to install gphoto2 first. Um, gphoto2 is the most critical piece of software in this uh, suite of three tools that we're going to use. So we simply type sudo apt install why to, to make sure that it doesn't stop and ask you, do you really want to do this? And gphoto2. So enter my password and it goes off and fetches gphoto2 and does the install. Then I'm going to install the v4 loopback utilities. Uh, these are the ones that allow you to create a webcam anywhere from anything, basically from any video source, uh, a virtual webcam as we call it. So it's it's got quite a few things to download and install to, to make all of this work, all of the libraries and, and so on. But once it's installed, you can, just like I showed you the other day, create a virtual webcam from any vi video source. And then in order for us to be able to process the video uh, and generate the video in exactly the way that we want. We're going to pipe the video output through uh, a program called FFmpeg, which is basically it's a command line video editing modification uh, program. It can pick up video in the middle of a stream and change it and output it to some other stream. So this is what we're going to make uh, to do here. We're going to just install. Uh, FFmpeg. So let's copy that and paste it in here. So sudo apt install y FFmpeg. And that should be quite quick because it's a relatively small program with a very big uh, job that it can do. So that's it. That's all the software that uh, I need. Um, now we need to, uh, you know, make sure that we go through and use the software in order to be able to capture the input from the, sorry, the output from the camera and make it input to OBS. So I'm gonna just pause here. Um, you, you of course won't see me going away and doing things, but I'm going to plug in my camera to the computer and I'm gonna do a whole lot of setting up of the things that we need. And I don't need the virtual machine anymore because I've already got all this software installed on my, on my computer that I'm, I'm uh, streaming from. So I'm going to close this and I will come back and show you how to set up and configure the next steps in order to be able to use your camera to stream into OBS. Okay, so I'm back and I've got my camera here and you can see I've got it plugged into the USB cable which goes under my desk and plugs into my computer. Now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to turn on the camera and it, will probably mount the camera as if it were a drive so that you can, you know, you normally would want to download your pictures. That's what you would normally be doing with a camera, right? So when I switch it on, you'll see that it's just come up with a notification Canon digital camera. And if I check my, if I check my um, um, mounted drives here, you can see I've got Canon digital camera here. So, <clears throat> the first thing that you need to do before you can stream from your camera is you must make sure that uh, you unmount the camera from here. You can't have the camera mounted as a drive 
and still use it uh, to capture video from. So I just click here to open uh, my, my file manager and I go here where it says uh, Canon uh, digital camera mounted to Gphoto. So I just go there and I say on mount. Hope you can see that on mount. And, um, and then uh, once it's on mounted, now you can start to uh, do the, the other things with it. So I'm just going to take off the lens cap so that I can take a picture and I'll just put a little tripod and put the camera on a little tripod so I can stand it up <clears throat> so that when it does take a picture, um, maybe it will take a picture of me in all my glory. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to enable a video for loopback. So remember that when you're using video for loopback, oh, wire is here. Uh, when you're, let me put this around the leg of the tripod, so it's out of the way of the keyboard. So remember that when you um, are going to use video for loopback, the first thing you need to do is just remove it to make sure that you know which uh, source your uh, which source is going to be the one that you uh, that you will create the virtual virtual webcam on so it's not loaded that's why it's giving that error that's fine then I'm going to list all my my video devices so you can see I've got video zero and video one already those are the the, it's probably my webcam and my uh, HDMI video. So um, then I'm going to load video for loopback, loopback as a kernel module. So I type sudo mod probe v4l loopback exclusive caps equals one max buffers equals two. You don't actually need that. It will still work without it, but it works better for capturing video. Um, and But don't ask me why. Um, so now if I list my video sources, you'll see I've got another video device mounted called video two, and that's where my loopback uh, video is going to go. Does that make sense? So when I have mounted my camera and I'm using it to stream live video, that live video will be on the virtual webcam video two. So when I go into OBS, and I want to load that virtual webcam as a source, that's where I'm going to load it from, not from video zero, which is what my normal webcam uh, would be loaded under. Okay, so that makes sense. <clears throat> so now I can test to make sure everything is working. So I can say gphoto2 auto detect, gphoto2 dash dash auto dash detect. So gphoto2 auto detect, and you can see, uh, let me just, magnify the terminal so you can see it better. One more. Yeah, maybe that's better. Yeah, so now you can see that it has detected my EOS 6D Mark II. Now, <clears throat> there are other things you can do. You can, you can find out what the status of the camera, uh, of the camera is. So I can go to Gphoto 2 summary and it tells me a whole lot of stuff about the camera um, serial number and, and all device capabilities and a whole lot of other stuff uh, that I don't need to know but it's just useful to know that everything is working as as expected so now we can um, we can try uh, capturing uh, capturing a uh, an image from the camera and uh, just see if that works. So now you can see that the camera just, you probably could hear that, it just took a picture and uh, it's saved the, the, the picture as cap0.jpg, uh, which is in my home directory. So there is what it just took. Oh my God, that's gross. Okay, so, so that means that everything is working. Now, let's go and set it up as a um, 
is a video capture device on OBS. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to create another instance of OBS because I'm using OBS now to stream to you. So just give me a second and I'll be right back again. Okay, so here we are again. And if you look um, at my screen here, I've got the terminal uh, with all the commands that we've just run uh, still on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the virtual webcam. And this is a complex sequence of commands uh, where one, the output of one command is fed into another one, which creates the actual virtual, uh, the actual virtual webcam. So the virtual webcam is actually created by FFmpeg and GPhoto2 captures the video from the camera and V4 L2 loopback is what makes it possible to create the virtual webcam. So those are the three things, the three ingredients that go into this solution. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go through this little command for you. So um, let me control C, I don't want to run that. I'm going to just clear the terminal so you can see better and then I'll paste it again. Okay, so gphoto2 is the command that we're running that just starts gphoto2. Um, stdout just means uh, the direct output um, to standard output. In other words, it's just going to fire it off to wherever the next step is in the chain. Um, dash dash capture movie just tells it to capture the, the video from the camera. And then this vertical uh, symbol here is called a pipe. And it means gphoto2 is going to pipe its output, send its output. It's like connecting two things together. So gphoto2 is going to send its output to ffmpeg as input. Then it gives it some, some uh, codecs and some video formats and things like that, which I'm not going to go into here. And then it's going to use uh, uh, um, v4l2, video for Linux, and it's going to put the output on the virtual webcam slash div video 2 that we just created a few minutes ago using v4l2 loopback. Okay, so hopefully that makes some kind of sense to you. It doesn't matter whether you understand it or not, because all you got to do is copy and paste this into a terminal and boom, it will work. So let's do that. Okay, so now you can see it's running, it's capturing frames. Uh, so now we can go into, uh, now we can go into um, OBS and we can add a source here. So I'm in the introduction scene here. We've not got no sources at the moment. So I'm going to add a source and it's going to be a V4L2, Video for Linux version 2 device. And I'm going to just create a new device and I'm going to just call it uh, Canon Camera. And OK. So uh, you can see that I've already select it's already selected. I could I could select my normal webcam or I could which is which I can't do because it's already in use. There is a way around that. You can create a second instance of a webcam using a virtual webcam technique as well. But my dummy video is the camera. And there, it's right there. Yeah. So this is now coming from my, um, my Canon DSLR. How cool is that? No special software other than basic open source tools that are available to install on any Linux distribution and a plain old fashioned ordinary USB cable. No $260 plug-in devices, nothing. And so that same technique can be used to create a virtual webcam that can be used anywhere. It doesn't have to be in OBS, even though I'm showing you on OBS. It could be used to create a virtual webcam that you can use in Skype, in Zoom, in Jitsi, in Microsoft Teams, anywhere that you are going to use a webcam. Um, it can be done this way. So you create a, a, virtual, a virtual webcam using V4L2 loopback, and the tools that I've just showed you in exactly the way that I showed you, and you can use your DSLR as a webcam 
in anything on Linux. Now, how's that for the joy of free and open source software? So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, it will help me and hopefully you will also get to see when I'm going to do the next one of these videos. Uh, I have another one in mind, um, which I think will also be useful. I'm trying to deal with the things that are a little bit difficult uh, normally to make them easy for people to do. So I have another one um, that I think would be quite useful and I will tell you about that in a few days once I've figured out how to do it because you know this isn't just about me teaching you this is about me learning how to do this and the best way to learn how to do something is to teach it to somebody so please like the video and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time thanks for watching